I'm Professor Mark Tunery of MarkTunery.com Animation, and we're here to answer that burning, age-old question of antiquity. Who hid my corn chips? No, Debbie. We're here to answer the question, how do you make cartoons? Who cares? You hire a bunch of cartoon characters who know how to draw and... Not quite, Deadbeat. Any good cartoon starts like any good drawing. With an idea. Wow, this sure looks expensive, huh folks? Complicated too. Hey boss! Shouldn't we scale us back for such a short film? <clears throat> Excuse me, folks. I do tend to get ahead of myself. <laughs> when I start a cartoon, the first thing I do is storyboard it. Sometimes I'm handed a script with a dialogue, but the best cartoons start out just like comic strips. Panels from the Sunday Funnies or comic books. Now, these storyboard drawings are really important. Just like the comics, they show key moments in the action that move the story forward. For instance, in this example, Thurman walks along, Thurman doesn't see open manhole, Thurman falls in. Those are what we call key drawings. They're simple, and even with no color, if you draw them right, you can follow what's going on without any verbal explanation. Once the storyboards are approved, it's time to put together a soundtrack. Some people are surprised to hear that it's best to do the soundtrack before the animation, and that helps me determine how many drawings I need to do later as well. I mix my soundtracks with a program called Final Cut. It's really a video editing program, but if all goes well with the soundtrack, I can take my scanned storyboards, add them to my soundtrack, and surprisingly, I'm already at stage three, the animatic. What's an animatic? Also called a pose test or pose reel, I often describe an animatic to my clients and students as an on-screen comic book with a soundtrack. Let's take a look at that soundtrack I just did, timed out to each storyboard panel. Whoa! Did not see that coming. Whoa! Did not see that coming. Hey boss, who's that joker back there? That's an animator. He's doing all the drawings it's going to take to make you and your cartoon pals move. He's sitting at an old-fashioned animation desk, though nowadays most people either use a digitizing tablet, like this Wacom tablet that I often use, which saves time because I don't have to scan the drawings. So I just work on top of my storyboards as sort of a template. So how many drawings is that poor sucker doing over there? This is what scares a lot of people away from animation. Since there are 30 frames per second in video, I may need to do as many as 30 drawings per second with fast action, like a scene of characters running, but I can reduce that to about 15 drawings per second for most dialogue shots. 30 drawings per second? <laughs> Deadbeat? Deadbeat, are you okay? Thurman, go get me some smelling salts. Sure thing, Professor Tunery. Whoa! Did not see that coming. Um, feeling better, Debbie? Yeah, just don't mention all those drawings. All at work. <laughs> Although it's a lot of work, the greatest thing about working in animation is that anything you can imagine can happen. Fire-breathing dragons, fairy godmothers, space aliens, rampaging giant apes. Say, boss, that Flash animation software sounds complicated. I'd sure like to learn it. It's a shame there's not a step-by-step, -step, easy to follow guide about how to make your own cartoons with Flash. What's that, folks? You say you'd like to learn how to make your own cartoons with Flash? Then pick up a copy of Mark's book, The Art of Flash Animation, Creative Cartooning, today. Available on Amazon.com for 35 bucks or less. Just follow our link on marktunery.com store page. You can also get t-shirts about... <laughs> Talk about a shameless act of self-promotion if ever I saw one. Thanks for joining us, folks. To learn more about animation and cartooning, visit us at marktunery.com. We, we mean, mean serious, serious funny, funny business. business.